over a lot of ocean right now. Yeah, we're over the Pacific. We're gonna come over the tip of South America. Awesome. I'm Marie Claire, I'm Christina Cook of NASA, and I'm Jessica Meir. We're both NASA astronauts living on board the International Space Station, and I've actually been here since March 15th. I think it's somewhere almost 250 days, something like that. That's about 200 days longer than me, and actually tomorrow will be my 50th day on the International Space Station. The last 50 has been the best that we've been here. <laughs> it's been pretty amazing being up here together with both of us having worked and been friends together and colleagues for so long. One of the highlights of my 50 days thus far was the spacewalk that Christina and I conducted together. We were doing a series of spacewalks to upgrade some batteries, and then something went a little bit awry with the battery channel, and we had to do an unplanned spacewalk to replace the battery charge discharge unit. The ground team planned for that in only a couple days. That spacewalk was also the highlight of my mission. Being to be a part of both professionally and personally, of course, is just an extraordinary experience. The views are amazing. On board, um, our days consist mostly of maintenance of the space station and doing science to basically benefit life on Earth and also to further our goals in exploration. A lot of the work we're doing here on long duration space flight is going to inform the future missions that we do back to the moon and also on to Mars. Outside of our workday, which is about 12 hours long in and of itself, we have meals with our friends and we have other hobbies we can do, keep in touch with people on Earth, look out the window, take pictures, read, watch movies. This is my favorite window to read by. You can usually find me here on Sunday mornings. Sometimes it's sunnier though, and that's a little bit nicer. We don't have a ton of time for free time, but what we do, we make the best of it. And I think the real joy about living up here is getting to know your crewmates and getting to spend time with them. We hope you enjoy our day aboard the International Space Station. A very important part of our daily routine on the International Space Station is exercise. This ensures that we keep our muscles and bones healthy and that we can come back from our missions back to Earth still in a healthy state. So this is our resistive exercise device where we can actually achieve the same thing as lifting weights would be on Earth in space, in microgravity. Just like on the ground, we have to wash our hair in space too. So I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like in microgravity. So we get some of our drinking water in a pouch like this, a little initial rinse. Basically, I'm just squeezing the water out of this drink bag, as you can see here. And I'm just getting that all in my hair. One of the things that's interesting up here, when I would work out on the ground, if I'm running or biking or doing any kind of exercise, I always have my hair back so it doesn't get in my face, of course. Up here, actually, you don't need to do that since it never gets in your face. So often I'll just leave it down, but when I say down, up here it usually ends up being mostly up, <laughs> up like this, but it stays out of your face while you're working out, so that's all you need. So I'm just working all the water through here, getting a nice little rinse, and of course because I'm in space, I can also do it with what looks like being upside down to you. You can feel like Spider-Man when we jump up to the ceiling like this up here. Just gonna get a little bit of shampoo in here, especially at the roots. And give it a bit of a scrub. First, I'm gonna get some of it out with this towel. Now we'll give it a rinse. Perhaps the most important part of washing the hair is getting rid of all the uh, extra hair that's falling out so I don't leave it all around all over the space station for my crewmates to find. Some people have described it a bit like you're floating along and suddenly you get hit in the face by something that feels like a spider web because somebody's long hair is just floating there in front of you and you can't see it. Okay, I'm ready for my conditioner. Work some of that in here and this is just a leave-in conditioner. And that's it. That's how you wash your hair in space. 
It's not that complicated. So today we're gonna harvest the Mizuna lettuce that we've been growing for about the past month. This is the fourth iteration of the veggie experiment and this one is in particular looking at different light levels. So we have two different wavelengths of light. As you can see, this one is a bit more red on the top and this one on the bottom is a little bit more blue. So today, Christina and I are harvesting the lettuce. As I mentioned, we'll be cutting several of these leaves off, half of it to go back and down to the ground with the scientists to evaluate and half for us to make some delicious salads up here. And that is quite a treat for us to have fresh lettuce up here on the space station since we don't have very many opportunities to have fresh food. So right now, Drew Morgan and Christina Cook are doing a tool audit of the spacewalk tools for the upcoming spacewalk series that we will start this Friday. Here's Christina, she's photo documenting the tool config for one of the Kulak bags. They're doing this work in the airlock. This is the area where the crew members get suited up in the spacesuits. They'll be right here, mounted to the wall, getting into the spacesuits, and then they'll go out just past Christina there into the crew lock, and that's the area that we will depressurize in order to then open the hatch and go out into the vacuum of space to start the spacewalk. Another way that we spend our day on board the ISS is doing maintenance on the space station itself. So you can see Jessica here is doing some cleaning of one of our ventilation ducts. That's important because uh, dust and debris that's in the air doesn't really fall to the ground in microgravity. So it actually all ends up on the surface of our ventilation ducts. Oh man, so good. Uh, I have Indian fish curry in. And also a Russian can that I actually took out already to let it cool down. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. I've got beef tips with mushrooms. Ooh. And uh, we'll start with the pea soup. Okay, there you go. Try it. I'm gonna try the beef steak. I haven't actually tried the beef steak yet. It's good. Okay. Let's put some music on for dinner. Absolutely. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to do your trick and get the whole peel off in one. Okay. I am an honorary mirror. Oh, smell that. Oh. It smells so good. So fresh. Luca. Yo. Orange. I was gonna fight. I know. That would have been so awesome. This is our hygiene station. Can't go a night without flossing, you know me. I, believe me, I do. Oh, this is that um, exfoliator I was telling you about. I used it and I really What'd like it. What'd you think? I knew you would because it's all natural and I, it's actually food-based even. Yeah, it it's, was just like there was some sugar in it. Yes, it yes. Like, oh, that's sweet. It's like not gross if it gets in your mouth. But I <laughs> used it the other day and I felt like my skin looked really good. Yeah? It's kind of like camping in some ways, you know? It is a lot like You have everything you need, you just don't have running water. It's just all a little different. Luckily we both love camping. Maybe I will try some of my uh, facial cleanser today. Hey Goose. Hey. Our only time to stare at the earth is after work. <laughs> right when we shouldn't be getting blasted by sunlight. We're over a lot of ocean right now. Yeah, we're over the Pacific. We're gonna come over the tip of South America. Awesome. All shut down. Good night, Earth.